Welcome back, Nada fans. This is another match now. Losers bracket. We are watching Daniel Canela versus Daniel Kalina versus Dos Boss. It's gonna be on Valis Mananaris once again, and have Yoshi versus Draven going on simultaneously. And I think Pepe and Pepe versus Mac might. No, it's not quite done yet. Okay. So the players are just setting up their starting locations, but. When that's done, then the game will begin, and we'll actually get to casting it. We have seen Valis Mononanus before. There we go. Game is beginning, and Dos Boss, southwest corner of the map, and Daniel Kalina in the northeast corner, and finally, finally we have Teal versus Red, but admittedly in reverse to who's player one, who's player two. So close, but yet so far. So at this point, Daniil is probably the favorite to win. We'll see what Dos Boss can do. I've not actually had a chance to see him yet, but we'll see what he can do. Going for early metal extract, going for standard four max four power plant opening, and Daniil, on the other hand, is also actually let's see you two. He is going for more metal than energy, which is not surprising. He's also going for an early vehicle plant, while. Looks like there's no factory yet built up, or queued up rather, for... Oh, there we go. Vehicle Plant. Vehicle Plant has been queued up for both, so both of them are definitely going for early vehicles. That's what they want to do. Once they actually get going, sorry, it just takes a little while for the game to get started because players have built an early economy and there's no fact plop. Takes a little bit. And Polar, the organizer, pointing out this should be over in a minute. Daniil should win. Like I said, Daniil is the favorite to win. Let's see how this works out. I mean, both players are in cross positions. They start on the opposite sides. Now, Daniil does have, I'd say, probably an easier time getting to the center. Though, on the other hand, Dosboss does have the south section here. He can, more, he can control if he really tries. Sets up some defenses along the hills here and then builds up all the mexes down here. Still, that's less than half the map. And it's just this south side. Whereas... I'm pretty sure it's going to be fairly easy for Daniil to take off the whole north side here. It does seem like a lot of these maps do kind of favor the north side over the south side, but it could just be my analysis. My analysis could very well be wrong. I'm not that experienced with this. So, Vehicle Plant is being set up for both players pretty much at the same time. They're both going arm, by the way. Keep forgetting to point that out, because that's actually a thing that matters. There's actually a faction system in Nada, unlike in Zero K. Where the factions are effectively the factories. Jeffy's coming up very quickly for Draven. Uh, sorry, for Daniil. And Dos Boss is going for an early constructor. This is a little unusual. Typically in Nada, you don't go for an early constructor, you go for early military. Your tower can basically handle most of your starting construction. Obviously, it has a limited range, but it can handle a lot of your starting construction. So it looks like Daniil might not have much to worry about. I mean, most people are kind of think he doesn't anyway. Now, Dos Boss might end up going over to the north, trying to take this instead of going over to the south, or sorry, to the west and take this, going relatively north rather than going east from his base and taking the south side of the map. We'll see what he goes for, and looks like he is going to try to take the south side of the map. The way his constructor is moving, though it might just be a rally point. Yeah, there's a rally point. We'll see what goes on once it's actually there. However, this Jeffy will be pretty devastating. In fact, I think I think it might be out of range. Let's just see. Yes, it will be able to attack outside of the range of the factory. Sorry, the, not the factory, the tower. The main tower will not be able to hit it unless it gets too close. It has to be careful. It cannot get hit by a missile. It can, however, take out this metal extractor for free and this one and possibly this one and this constructor once it gets out of the protection of the tower and another constructor being built as well. Now, finally, Flash is being built up, but one metal extractor down. At this point... Daniil actually has a slight economic disadvantage for metal, but he has an advantage for energy. He built a bunch of wind generators, which are doing just fine. Getting 20 power each, of course, half the cost of the solar collector, which means they are very cost-effective. And radar! Okay, good. And like I said, actually, point out, something I should point out earlier. Scouting! The Jeffy is being used to scout! Admittedly, it's not quite seeing where the factory is. It's not, he hasn't pushed it in yet. But still, he does have an idea of what's going on. He does see that there are units coming up. I'm a bit surprised he hasn't moved one of them in, just to see what's going on, just to get a really good idea of the layout of the base there. 
That being said, DOS Boss has just line of sight. He has no radar. He has not yet scouted. He has no idea what Daniil is up to. And Daniil, at this point, looks like he has enough flashes right now to just push in. These construction vehicles, that's a lot of metal that didn't have to be construction vehicles. And they aren't doing anything. They are not... Okay, one of them is going to build metal extractors. The other one needs to go build metal extractors as well. That's the only thing they can do is build metal extractors and possibly power plants. The main tower can build power plants well enough, but... Metal extractors, you, you would need these for. That's true. But he's only using one of them to build that. So apparently there is a bit of a multitasking issue there on DOS Boss's part. Though admittedly, I'm not sure how strong players' multitasking is in general in Nauta. I'm not sure how well practiced that is. I, I have no idea. I'm not saying it isn't good. I just have... I have no clue. I don't really know. I haven't seen enough Nauta games to really be sure how good the good player's multitasking skill is. It seems like it's pretty okay. I mean, we haven't actually seen... We do see a lot of queuing going on, which is a great way of not having to worry about multitasking. And there we go. Now this worker is finally going to work. Actually doing what it should be. Construction vehicle. And a Jeffy able to spot that out. Nice scouting out there by Daniil. And another Jeffy looks like it's going into harass. Both of them going to harass. Neither of them actually checking out this base. So he doesn't really know the layout of the base. He does know about this incoming force though. And like I said... Full radar view. This is Daniil's point of view. He knows what's going on in the center of the map. And DOS Boss is still in the dark. Radar is extremely important in this game. I mean, the thing is, we've seen that scouting isn't really given a whole lot of priority, but radar is a great way of at least getting information about that there are things there, that things exist. You can kind of tell what one the factory is. Excuse me, sorry. You can kind of tell which one the factory is by simply looking at where new dots are coming, the dot that has new dots spawning out of it. That's your factory. That being said, doesn't matter, because the radar is actually out of range. This radar here can't see what's going on. Vanille cannot see the factory. He can see that there is a factory, obviously. He knows that much. Doesn't know when a second factory is going to be built, but he doesn't need to really worry about that. A second factory is not going to be built for a little while yet. It probably should be, though. Actually, at this point, I think that Daniil should worry about that. He did lose one of his constructors, by the way. And, sorry, not Daniil. Daniil shouldn't worry about that because it's not his factory to worry about. Daniil actually is spending enough metal. I think he... He's not getting another factory. He's just building more stuff. He has his constructors going around the map. He has metal extractors being built. He has a metal advantage at this point compared to Daniil. Oh, sorry, compared to DOS Boss. So Daniil is... Basically in. Oh, is Icon Distance a problem? I guess. Sorry, in 0k the icons, I prefer not to have them, but 0k units are also bigger and a bit easier to tell apart. Where is Icon Distance? Ah, Icon Distance. Let's try this. That should work, I think. If that's not, if that's a problem, let me know and I'll set it lower again. Sorry, in 0k it's Settings, Graphics, Unit Visibility, Icon Distance, so I had to try to remember where it was. And now the battle is being joined in a nice, awesome flank here. And as we see before, the there is that armor. I Admittedly, mean, we didn't see it before because I had to widget off, but that armor is very important. However, that means that retreating is not the best idea. Unlike in 0k, retreating, retreat micro is not the way to go. Not necessarily, at least. Like, not a kind of balances that out. It seems like flanking is much more important. Getting a nice encirclement on your opponent's side. I'm sorry, I believe I have a bit of a cold starting up. So my nose is a bit stuffy. It's kind of sounding a little bit... Might be sounding a little bit nasally. Might be sounding a little bit like I'm half blowing my nose as I'm talking. I apologize. Anyway, a flank is incoming, however. Daniil looks like he's setting up for a nice encirclement here. Not sure if he's going to go for it, though. He does have some pretty damaged units. This panther here is very damaged. All of them are panthers, though. No, sorry. These are flashes. These are panthers. And Flash is coming in to try to deal with them. But like I said, the retreat micro is not the best idea. It works okay because it means that you can kind of move while still firing, so you can dodge shots, but I think that's kind of what the armor system is before, is to make it so that retreat micro is not the best way to go. Oh, thank you, Pepe Ampere. Pepe Ampere says I talk nice. I, I appreciate that. I try. Anyway, two vehicle factories now for both players, and at this point, Daniil has it. I mean, he's got... Once again, two times metal advantage. He has... This is what I mean by multitasking. He's, there's more metal extractors that could be built, but they aren't being built. And Radar, I believe, has been built... For, no! No, it has not! DOSBus 
10 minutes in the game still does not have radar. Also has a massive energy deficiency as well. Not building a lot of power plants. His... Yeah. Now he's finally building power plants, realizing he needs some, but he should have been building them continuously. You just... You build power continuously. You build stuff continuously. You always make sure that your tower is doing something. You always make sure that all of your workers are doing something. And Daniil is making very sure of that. He wants to be absolutely solid on there, because the thing is... If you have the economic advantage, you just build more factories, you outbuild your opponent. I mean, now he's getting air up, he's getting some hellfish up, and those hellfish are going to tear apart these flashes without issue. All of these are flashes. These are all... Some of these are panthers, but... All of these are flashes. Panthers, by the way, have radar stealth. Not that it matters. It really doesn't, because Dos Boss has not gone for radar, Daniil has gone for radar. And Dos Boss, okay, now he's setting up more metal extractors once again. It's... It's really just a matter of practice skill. You just have to play it. You have to get in the habit of having multitasking. You have to get in the habit of looking around the map, paying attention to all the things going on, making sure that stuff is doing, your workers are doing stuff. Good idea to put control groups on everything. Put your tower in a control group, put your workers in a control group, or even just hit control V from time to time. Control V gets you to idle workers. And in case you're wondering why I'm not commenting on the battle, it's because the result is obvious. Massive numerical advantage for Daniil in that battle. I believe that actually there might be a numerical advantage overall for, let's see, between, these are stumpies. Yeah, I believe that there actually is a bit of an advantage numerically for, for DOS boss. Although admittedly, Panthers are quite scary, so I don't know how well it's going to work out. I mean, compared to Flashes, that's, okay, compared to stumpies, it's not too bad, but compared to Flashes, it's pretty scary. And down goes that Constructor, but the thing is, just build another Constructor, like, just all. Hey, hold Alt, hit the, hit the Constructor, and build it. Actually, what is being built here? Stumpy's being built... Okay, just Stumpy's are being built. Flashes and Stumpy's being built, dedicated. And... Still needs more metal. Daniil, on the other hand, has been continuously taking metal to the north. He is just... Now he's going to the center of the map. But he has pretty much got control over that. However, a break... Oh, an attempted break here for DOS Boss. He is able to get rid of a few Panthers. Losing, taking a lot of damage in the process, but the Panthers are in a good position for him. He's actually, this one's showing his backside, or it was, but it is protected by this wreck, so it's not going to take a whole lot of damage. Now the front armor being exposed, and that will finish it off. And the back armor, the flash, does not work in its favor as a result, because it's, that's not supposed to. Not a thing's supposed to happen. Anyway, a bunch of flashes and stumpies are going around the south side of the map, are going to try to get rid of this construction vehicle here, and they will succeed. So Daniil lost a construction vehicle, but that's fine. Because he got a lot of economy from it. He still has another construction vehicle. Another two construction vehicles. He is making the most of his construction vehicles. And it doesn't look like any more construction vehicles are being built up for DOS Boss. He should do so. He needs to do so. And this flash actually why is it in the corner here. I guess it's a bit of scouting. He doesn't know what's going on. But radar would work for that better. And it wouldn't sacrifice damage potential off the side of the map. But it looks like... Doesn't matter here. These Stumpies are not able to do much against the Panthers. Panthers really are more powerful. And... Yeah, they take a bit of energy, but the thing is... Daniil has the energy. He has twice the energy compared to Dos Boss. He is using it, yes, but he has it. And now the Hellfish... The Hellfish cometh... And actually... I believe it's going to be... Yeah, taking out these Metal Extractors. So this is not going to work out too well. That Metal Extractor did not last very long. I believe Hellfish could fire again. Or no, apparently not, no. But another Hellfish coming in here, and we'll be able to take out that Metal Extractor. No big deal. Is he going to try another one? No, bad idea. It needs to avoid that tower, otherwise it's going to get hit, and... Daniil bringing it home, but not able to do so in time. So one Hellfish down, but the thing is, Daniil has map control. And that's what counts, is map control. He needs to have that, because he needs to be able to actually get the economy going, because that's what he has. That's his advantage. And that's an advantage that DOS Boss really has not been appreciating in this game. Like DOS Boss, he built some metal extractors, but he basically has not tried. He hasn't pushed for it. He hasn't gotten more... He got, he's getting another construction vehicle. Okay, that's good. Getting another couple construction vehicles, at least. I'm not sure if he's going to use them, though. If he's paying attention to that side of the map. He's paying attention down here. As you can see, his cursor is over to the south. He is now apparently paying some attention to this construction vehicle. Sending it over here, getting some metal extractors going. And the other one might want to go north. Because the thing is, Daniil knows what's going on here. He knows what's going on to the south. He does not know what's going on over to this western side. He has no idea what's being built up here. 
For all he knows, there are metal extractors here, and he doesn't have radar. And the thing is, yes, admittedly, that's not something that DOS Boss is aware of, seeing as DOS Boss has not had radar this entire game. He doesn't know where the radar tower is, but it's kind of hard to have radar coverage of this area. Just the way this mountain is set up, the radar shadow just works out that way. It pretty much doesn't matter where your opponent sets up their radar on this map. There's going to be radar shadows somewhere around here. However, not so much to the south. The south is much more visible and it will be spotted out. Where's the other construction vehicle? Not being used yet. And all these vehicles here as well. Not in the best location, I'd say. Not in a terrible location, but it's kind of the choke point opening to his base, but still. Like, at this point, 60 metal coming in for... Wow, okay, massive metal advantage right now. For Daniil. I mean, I'm not sure what he's doing with these hellfish, mind you. Got 15 hellfish. He's not attacking with them. He might be just waiting until he gets enough to kill the tower in one go. I'm not sure. He might be. Hellfish coming up as well for... Interesting. For DOS Boss, he's going for his own hellfish, trying to just fight hellfish with hellfish, oddly enough. However, like I said, Radar does spot this out. I think that... I'm starting to think that DOS Boss may not be aware of Radar, because at this point, like, how in the world could, else could have... Daniil seen this? Or could Daniil have seen this? How else in the world could Daniil have seen this? This particular construction vehicle? There's no way he could have known other than radar. And that's certainly a suspicious thing. I'm just surprised that it hasn't been built up. And it looks like Hellfish are going out here for DOS Boss, but it's not going to help him too much right now. He doesn't know what to fire on. He has no idea what to shoot. And this Hellfish... The tail guns are going at each other, but it's not going to help out too much. And there goes that construction vehicle. Like I said, it's just... It knows where it is now. Okay. To DOS Boss's credit, he is going to this side here in the west. So he is taking some metal extractors that are going to be harder to take out. I mean, Daniil is aware of none of them, actually. No, even this one here. He's not aware of it. He has no idea it's being built. He's aware of this one, but it's been destroyed, so he doesn't actually really care. It's wreckage. But he's not aware of this metal extractor or any of the ones to the west. So right now, DOS Boss is doing the only thing that gives him even a remote chance of getting anywhere in this game. But honestly, Daniil could push right now and win. Like The number of Hellfish he has alone. has 23 Hellfish already, some of them in production, but at least 20 that aren't. He can just go for this. He really can. Like, nothing is stopping him at all from just dealing with this. And it looks like... Okay, there we go. Just in case there are mexes to the west, I think Daniil expects there to be mexes all the way up the western side. And of course there aren't. Because DOS Boss has not been focusing on his economy whatsoever. And... Well, he's going to find the two metal extractors that are up here. He's going to be able to kill them, no problem. And after that, it's going to be game, pretty much. And DOS Boss also getting flanked from the south. Panther's coming in from the south to try to make sure he gets rid of all the metal extractors as he goes along. And builds some of his own as well. Nice, nice setup there, having the construction going behind your rating. You always want that. Now, this flash here might actually be mildly useful. We'll force one of the Panthers to pull back and destroy it before the construction vehicle can actually do anything, because the construction vehicle, it will be taking some damage. It'll actually die if it's not protected. I don't think that Daniil even cares. I honestly don't think he cares. Panthers are coming along on the north side, going to get rid of the two metal extractors that are here, and I'm sure Daniil's slightly surprised that DOS Boss only had those two. He hadn't been expanding along both sides throughout the entire game, whereas Daniil had. Although Daniil's more focusing on his eastern side right now. But yeah, that's what Daniil had been focusing on. And in come the Panthers in the main base. Get rid of the factories, get rid of the vehicles that haven't built, all these flashes. Actually, the one factory was not even doing anything for a while. And that's... That's game. That is totally game. There's really nothing that can be done from here. Hellfish are being sent in to try to deal with the rest of the vehicles over here, but... Well, those vehicles had no chance, that's for sure. The flashes can't really hit air effectively. So, I think DOS Boss might GG and throw in the towel, but I don't know if he's aware that that's the polite thing to do. I don't know it doesn't matter, though. The Panther is just going to be able to take this whole thing out. It's just... It's got... This, this command center is dead. Completely dead. There is nothing really that can happen at this point that's not... That's going to preclude the destruction of this command center. Except maybe the Panthers blocking each other and no longer firing. 
That's actually a little bit awkward. Not sure why that happened. Okay, apparently all the Panthers just decided to derp out. Not sure what happened there, but doesn't much matter. DOSBOSS has resigned nonetheless. And that is game, so... As expected, Daniil won against DOSBOSS. And Pepe Ampere won against Mac, which means that Pepe Ampere versus God is going to be going on pretty soon. So I'll get to that shortly. So yeah, Pepe Ampere and God going on. So I'm just going to get out of this because... That was game. So we will have Pepe Ampere versus God, God in just a minute. I don't know where Pepe Ampere is going to in terms of lobby, but yes, we'll be back, so stay tuned for that. Be up shortly.